I'm Melissa from the Melmar Group, and I found a new use for my bread maker. So if you want to know what I'm doing, stay tuned. <laughs> Okay, so I did a video recently on baking bread in the bread machine. This is the same recipe, but I double it when I do the dough cycle. So again, I put everything into my bread pan first, and I'll have the recipe down below with the, uh, if you're doing it single, and then you'll understand if you watch this, the double quantities. But here's two cups of warm water. You want it to be warm like you'd give a baby a bath in tablespoons of white sugar I know that sounds like a lot but remember we're doubling this four teaspoons of yeast and you're just gonna mix that around let it try to get mixed together dad this one's for you in my bread video I used my finger and my dad teased me about it, so just use a little spoon to mix that up. In my bread video, I said that you had to wait about 10 minutes after this portion. You can do that, but I found you don't have to, actually. So now I'm going to add a half a cup of olive oil, not olive oil. I'm going to add a half a cup of vegetable oil. This is a quarter cup, that's why I did it twice. And three teaspoons of salt. And then I add six cups of flour. Yeah, I spilled a little, sorry. Okay, then I just put the pan in my bread machine like that. I don't mix or anything, just put it in. And then on my bread machine, it has the dough cycle and it's number eight. And I just hit start. Okay, so like I show in my make bread in your bread maker video, this recipe tends to need a little bit more water when I make it. I don't know if it's my altitude or temperature outside. Um, I don't want to just overshoot on the water for the recipe. So at this point I can see that some is sticking on the sides. And so I'm just going to put some water in just a little bit and try to help it along. And it's now picking up everything. If it Again, if it was too wet, I could put a, a little bit of flour just to test it. But you just want to make sure that it's making a nice ball and nothing is really sticking to the sides. Again, this is a double batch. You need to make sure that your machine can do a double batch. Mine can only do a double batch on the dough cycle. So um, that's why I use it. Okay, so my bread in the bread machine is done. Um, this is the dough, this is a double batch. So I'm just going to take this out. I spray my hands with a little bit of cooking spray first, or I put some flour on them, just so this doesn't stick to me or anything else. Okay, so there's my big loaf of bread. I'm gonna knead this for just a minute. Um, try and get it into some sort of a ball and then I'm going to break that ball into four pieces. Remember this is a double batch so um, each batch will make two loaves of bread and I don't really have a bench scraper for this but okay so this batch will make, typically make two loaves of bread. Um, 
This one might be a little bit bigger. Let me try this again. Okay, let's try this again. So each of these will make two loaves of bread, believe it or not. Break it apart, put it in a loaf pan. Um, so I break them apart one more time because I like to do rolls or just a loaf of bread. Um, and I don't want to have to deal with all the dough at once because this is going right into my freezer. So I just wrap them up. Make sure they're wrapped up tight. Split this in half. And the dough is just beautiful, and I didn't really have to do much of anything but dump and go. And there you go, dough for four, four loaves of bread or for different uses, however you want to use it. I just put them in a Ziploc bag, put them in the freezer. Sometimes I'll do this several times on a Sunday um, and just freeze a bunch of these, and then I have them until I run out. So I hope that helps. Okay, so earlier in my bread video, I had the, I made the double batch in the bread maker, and then I pulled it out and I cut it in half and cut it in half again. Well, just one of those original halves of the double batch is right here, and it makes four, 16, 18 rolls. Um, so you can do that, or it will make two loaves of bread. I quoted incorrectly before. Um, so half of the double batch will do this, a quarter of the double batch will do one loaf of bread or half the amount of rolls. You just bake, um, I typically bake at 425 on the rolls, I do them about 10 to 13, 14 minutes, I just check them, put butter on them at the end, you can also do Parmesan cheese or herbs or whatever. On the bread, I do it at 425 for... 30 minutes. That's it. I use my bread maker now for the dough cycle. I actually found that I like the way the bread bakes better in the oven than in the bread maker. So I just do the dough, uh, put it in the, in, wrap it up like I do as I show you, put it in the freezer and then pull it out, um, you know, that morning, that afternoon, and I can use it for dinner, I can use it for breakfast, I can use it for anything. So I hope that that helps you. The dough cycle is a great thing. I'm still perfecting my dough. Um, so if you have a great bread maker recipe, I would love to know about it. Um, and if you like these kind of videos, please hit that subscribe button and the like button um, and comment down below. I'd love to hear. So until next time, make it a great day. Bye. Thank you.